Let's look at another problem where we're going to use the property of entropy to solve a thermodynamic problem. One pound mass of water contained in a piston cylinder assembly, initially saturated vapor at one atmosphere, is condensed at constant pressure to saturated liquid. Evaluate the heat transfer in BTU and the entropy production in BTUs per degree R for the water as the system. Well, let's lay out our storyboard. We've got a piston cylinder uh, assembly filled with water, and I've drawn the system boundary around the water molecules. Here's what we're given for our state data. Uh, state one, uh, the pressure is uh, one atmosphere, and it's saturated vapor, and there is one mass, uh, uh, one pound mass of water. Now, it's a constant pressure process, so. Uh, uh, state two has the same pressure as state one, but it is a saturated liquid state. We're going to model this as a closed system. Uh, we're going to ignore any changes in kinetic and potential energy as being completely insignificant. It was given that it was a constant pressure process, but that means since we started out as a saturated vapor and ended as a saturated liquid, and all points of the process lie under the vapor dome, uh, then it also is a constant temperature process. We'll see that when we draw the TS diagram. And we want to find the heat transfer that takes place during this process, and also the entropy production. So here's our TS diagram. Uh, this process takes place at one atmosphere, so I'll draw a one atmosphere uh, constant pressure line uh, across our vapor dome. It would be right here, going through both states one and states two. State one is that one atmosphere as a saturated vapor. State two is one atmosphere as a saturated liquid. So let's find the heat transfer with an energy balance. Our energy balance for a closed system is that delta U is just Q minus W. Let's rearrange and solve for Q. Q is just delta U plus W. And for a constant pressure process, the work is just the pressure at which the uh, process takes place times the mass times the change in specific volume. So we can substitute this term for work. And also we can expand our delta U term so Q then is delta U, which we'll rewrite as the mass times uh, the change in specific internal energy, plus W, which is pressure times mass times V2 minus V1. And of course, the mass is out here uh, uh, being multiplied times both of these terms. Recognizing that enthalpy is just U plus PV, we can rewrite this again as the heat transfer is just the mass times uh, the change in specific enthalpy. So let's go to the water saturation table at one atmosphere and get some enthalpy values. Well, at state one, the enthalpy is H sub G because it's a saturated vapor, and that's 1150.5 BTUs per pound mass. At state two, the enthalpy at state two is H sub F because at state two is a saturated liquid, and that has an enthalpy value of 180.15 BTUs per pound mass. So now let's calculate Q uh, from this expression here. It's the mass times the change in specific enthalpy. So we have Q is one pound mass times uh, H2 minus H1, the values we just uh, pulled out of a table. And we get that the heat transfer that takes place during this process is minus 907 excuse me, 970.35 BTUs. It's negative indicating that uh, um, heat transfer occurs removing energy from the system. So let's find the entropy production with an entropy balance. And that simply says that the change in entropy during the process, which is S2 minus S1, is equal to the summation of uh, Q over T values. So that's takes care of entropy that's being transferred into or out of the system by heat transfer, plus the entropy production within the system. And since that's the term we're looking for, let's rearrange and solve for that. 
Sigma is equal the, uh, to delta S, which is the mass times the change in specific entropy, minus Q over T. Uh, this summation, there's only one heat transfer in this process, so the summation is just the, this one Q over T term. So we'll go back to the uh, water saturation table at one atmosphere, and we'll get a value of uh, entropy at state one is S sub G because it's a, a saturated vapor. So S1 has a value of 1.7567 BTUs per pound mass R. And at state two, which is a saturated liquid, uh, S2 is equal to S sub F, which is 0.3121 BTUs per pound mass R. Now we can substitute these values into our equation for entropy production, and we get that the entropy production is one pound mass times S2 minus S1 minus Q, which is a minus 970 BTUs over the temperature at which it occurs, which is 671.67 R. Now notice here that I've carried uh, the Q and temperature to more decimal places than I normally would. And I'm doing that for a reason. I'm trying to be uh, more accurate here uh, to show, uh, to make a point. So what I get when I uh, solve this equation is that sigma is minus 1.4446 minus a negative 1.4447. In other words, uh, entropy production is approximately uh, zero BTUs per degree R. Well, if this uh, small error from zero is, is in fact that, if it's an error, and if the entropy production is actually zero, then this is a reversible process. But as we discussed in a prior problem when we introduced the uh, isentropic term, uh, it may be a reversible process with no entropy production, but it is not an isentropic process because that would also require delta S uh, to equal zero and Q to equal zero, and neither of those values is zero.